Welcome, I am Joshi and we are playing Marvel Champions with Hulk taking on Standard Rhino. Uh, for those who don't know me, I actually am a massive fan of playing Hulk in this game, even though I do know he is somewhat poorly designed, I still think he's a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to be playing a Shield Justice deck today, it's one of my favourite uh, decks to play with Hulk and I will link it in the description. I think it's actually one of the best ways of playing Hulk. So, we got Rhino at 28 health, he threats out in the main scheme at 7. Uh, we have, should be at 18 on our health here, for Hulk, or Bruce Banner. Um, so let's drop our hand size and get started. So we get a hand size of 5, surveillance team, Nick Fury, field agent, another surveillance team, and Paranormalus. Okay. We're going to spend Paranormalus, surveillance team, and field agent. Put Nick Fury into play. And after Nick Fury ends play, choose to either remove two threat from a scheme, draw three cards, or deal four damage to an enemy. We are going to draw three cards. Ramonic Chang, Moon Girl, and Avengers Mansion. Well, since we have all mental resources here, we are going to play Moon Girl while we're a genius. So, three uses, Moon Girl. Um, after you play Moon Girl from your hand, draw one card for each mental resource used to pay for it. We use three, so one, two, three. So we've got Chance Encounter, Heli Carrier, and Ingenuity. Uh, we're going to spend two resources in Ingenuity. So only if your Dan has a genius trait, which we have. We can exhaust that to generate a mental resource. For now, we are going to flip up the Hulk. We're going to hit Rhino for three. Let's see him down 25. Nick's going to hit him for two. Take him down 23. Moon Girl will attack him for two. He goes, takes him down to 21. They'll take their consequential damage of one and two, respectively. Uh, with that, we'll ready up and draw up our new hand. So we get energy. Ironheart, Espionage, and Homeland Intervention. One threat goes on the main scheme. Rhino's attacking, we'll have Nick Fury block for us. Going for two, that's three damage. Nick gets knocked out. Our encounter card that gets dealt to us will be. Enhanced Ivory Horn. So that's giving Rhino a plus one attack. We can spend three physical resources to get rid of it. We'll spend two resources. Play Ironheart. After you play Ironheart from your hand, draw one card, which we shall. All right. We have Limitless Strength. We'll spend those three physical resources to get rid of the enhanced Ivory Horn. Uh, not much we can do from here. So we will swing for three with Hulk, taking him down to 18. We will port one with Ironheart. Bring that under control. We'll put down the Bruce Banner. We'll use our, it should be that one. Use our experimental research action. Draw one card and choose and discard one card from our hand. And all of us. All right. So, uh, we'll put onto this for the next round. Get ready up. So we get dropped to five cards now. Another homeland intervention under surveillance. Agent Coulson, and a Quinn Carrier. Right, so, one threat goes on the scheme. Brian is going to try and think. He's going to scheme for one, plus one, plus two. Then we're going to encounter card, and the villain schemes. Just going to scheme for one, just one. 
four out of seven. Okay. We will use ingenuity and current all of us. We will use our experimental research. Draw a card and discard a card. Suborbital leap. Right. Flip up to Hulk. Then we will exhaust the ingenuity. Use Prone Olvis to put in a Quinn carrier. We'll then. Source the Queen Carrier. Put into to put an Agent Colson. After Agent Colson and display, search your deck and discard for a preparation card out of your hand. We'll just go grab an espionage. We're going to throw it away anyway. Uh, Colson's going to thwart for two. Moon Girl's going to thwart for two and get knocked out. Hulk will attack for three. Taking Rhino down to 15. Already up. Drop our four cards. And then intervention, global logistics, strength, and a limitless strength. Okay, so one threat goes on the main scheme. Uh, Rise going to attack. We'll have Ironheart block this. So two, it's two. Ironheart gets knocked out. Encounter card. Mercenary. So he's got guards. So whilst we engage with you, you cannot attack the villain. Well, we'll attack for three and get rid of the Hydra Mercenary. We will use a homeland intervention. Choose you exhaust up to three shield cards you control and choose a scheme. Remove two threat from that scheme for each card you exhaust away. Poison's a shield card, so exhaust him and get rid of the threat on that. We'll flip down and use our experimental research ability. Draw a card and discard a card. Of course, we got a whole smash. We'll grab logistics for now. And that'll be our turn. Ready up. We'll drop two more cards. Another Hulk smash. And a crushing blow. Okay. We get one threat on here. Rhino will scheme for one. Just one. Counter card. Bomber, when revealed, choose to either take two damage or place one threat on the main scheme. We'll place a threat on the main scheme. Okay. We'll use our ability. Gotta always keep getting the regular thing. Okay, movable object. Olsen will thwart two. We'll flip up Hulk. We will do a Hulk smash. It's now limitless strength. 
do 13 damage with overkill because it was all physical. So we hit him for two. And then Rhino takes 11, taking down to four. We will then use our ingenuity and strength to put a removable object. So Hulk gets four more hit points, which is up to 22. And we get retaliate one. Then we'll use our Quinn Carrier to spend as a physical resource to deal damage to an enemy equal to our attack, which will be three, and run it down to one. And we're ready up. Drop our hand of four, Mockingbird, Banner's Laboratory, Suborbital Leap, and a Thunderclap. Right, one threat goes on the main scheme. Rhino right, will attack. We'll just take it to the face. So two, it's nothing, two damage. And then we retaliate in for one. We're just gonna knock him to his next stage. So he comes in with 30 hit points now, stage two. And we revealed search the encounter deck and discard pile for break and take a side scheme and reveal it and shuffle the encounter deck. I don't believe we've seen it come out yet. It is. And that says when revealed, place one additional threat here. So that's going to come in with three threat. Deal an extra card. And now we're gonna get dealt two encounter cards. Because of breaking and taken. First card is Rhino heals four damage. If no damage was healed this way, this card gains surge. So that's gonna get a surge. Attach to Rhino, so he's got charge. When Rhino attacks, the next attack gains overkill. And at the end of that attack. Uh, discard that. And we've got Shocker and Reveal, deal one damage to each hero. Hulk takes the damage from Shocker. All right. <clears throat> Gonna spend three resources, bring in Mockingbird, when she enters play, stun an enemy. We will stun Rhino. Hawk will then swing for three to knock out Shocker. Mockingbird will thwart for one. Pulsum will thwart for two. Get rid of break and taken. Ready up. Four, four cards, one way or another. Valence team, unstoppable force, and espionage. Yep. One threat in the main scheme. Rhino would go to attack, but he's stunned. Counter card. Hey, another Hydra mercenary. Coming in with guard. Also, should be gone from the last round. Okay. We'll use Ingenuity, put in Espionage. Uh, if you play Control Spy character, we do through Mockingbird. When search keyword on counter would be resolved, discard Espionage and draw two cards. Spend two resources put in a surveillance team. 
comes in with three counters on it. Uh, we'll exhaust Savant's team and remove one Snoop counter from it, remove one threat from a scheme. Mockingbird, remove another one. Hulk will attack for three to get rid of the Hydra Mercenary. And we'll ready up. Four cards. Crushing Blow, Thunderclap, Boundless Rage, and Stop All Force. Two throw on here. Rhino is attacking. We'll just take it. Just pop any health. Just going to attack for six. Just six all up. Against down to 13. We retaliate for one on him. Down to 29. And charge goes away. Get encounter card. Rhino attacks you. If character is damaged by this attack, that character is stunned. Uh, we'll have Mockingbird take this. Three, four. She's knocked out. She would be stunned. She gets knocked out anyway. Okay. We'll use a Quinn Carrier to do a crushing blow. Just deal damage to the enemy equal to our attack, which is three. Use the surveillance team. Put that down to one. We'll attack for three with Hulk. And we'll spend two resources, two physical resources ready. Hulk, if you paid using only physical resources, draw a card. This is a genius. Attack for three. And we'll flip down and ready up. Cards five, we get an extra encounter card because we've run out of a deck. Five, because we've got a homeland dimension, paranormal, scratching blow, genius, and sky destroyer. Another threat goes on here. Rhino is going to scheme for one plus four. I'll take that up to six out of seven. And we get dealt another encounter card. If bomb scare is in play, assign X damage among heroes and allies, where X is the amount of threat on bomb scare. If bomb scare is not in play, this card gains surge. So when the surge queue on a counter card would be resolved, I discard espionage and draw two cards. Getting us under surveillance and a moon girl. Show passed. Reveal your set aside nemesis minion, put it into play. There's abomination. Uh, put your side scheme into play and shuffle these into the encounter deck. All right. Okay, so let us spend one and two. In fact, mental resources that bring in Moon Girl. After you play Moon Girl from your hand, draw one card for each mental resource you used to pay for. We used three, so we'll draw three more cards Espionage, Iron Heart, and Global Logistics. We will spend Baron Oliver's for two resources. Plus an espionage. 
to put in Sky Destroyer. So after you play a shield card, exhaust Sky Destroyer, deal two damage to enemy. This is a shield card we just played, so we'll exhaust that. And we'll do two damage to Abomination. Or will we? No, we'll deal two damage to Rhino. Remind it should have two threats. Each threat cannot be removed from that scheme while abomination is in play. Let us use our experimental research action to draw a card. And discard a card. Discard logistics. Flip up to Hulk. And one, two, three resources. Attack for 13 on Rhino. Taking him down to five. Using the Hawk Smash. Um, I'll thought for two with Moon Girl off the break in. Those and we're ready up. Cards, strength, endless rage, Hulk smash, and strength. All right, just need to get through this round. So, we get one threat on here. Rhino's going to attack. Uh, we'll have Moon Girl block it. Three, four, five. Moon Girl gets knocked out. Abomination will attack us for three. After the Abomination attacks you, discard the top card from your deck. If a physical resource is discarded this way, take two damage. It is. Let's take another two damage. He does get retaliated on for one. And two encounter cards. Crowd control that comes in with two threat. And we can't move that from the scheme. And remember that the enemy with the highest attack attacks a hero or ally with the highest attack. If no attacks are made this way, play it's alright. So the Rhino War. Uh, For abomination, we'll just let it be Rhino. He's going to attack for three, four, five. We'll get the same either way, probably if I do anything. Seconds down to three, we retaliate for one. And then, with limitless strength, we'll Hulk smash for 13 damage and overkill. Bring five to abomination, and the rest. Rhino, defeating Rhino. So there we have it. Hulk uh, defeats Rhino, as probably to be expected. Hopefully I didn't make too many mistakes there. Uh, if I did, please feel free to point them out. Um, yeah, and so thanks. hopefully you enjoyed this. 
like the video if you enjoyed this content and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.